celebrate the 26th anniversary of the sea lions! Yeah! Let's go! At one point, I thought my reflection was someone else, so I thought he would go past me, but then I rammed into the mirror and I, and I shouted, if you're going to Pier 39 or San Francisco, go over here and try the mirror maze. It's awesome. Musical stairs, yeah! Great, how are you today? I'm doing good. So do you have a lot of shrimp here or what? We got just about any kind of shrimp that you can imagine. We're the second Bubba Gump Shrimp Company and the Bubba Gump Shrimp Company family. We've got Bubba Gump Shrimp all over the world. We've got 43 restaurants. Uh, we started after the Forrest Gump movie came out uh, in 1996. We opened one restaurant down in Monterey, California, and we were so popular, we just kept opening more and more all over the world. So has Forrest Gump ever eaten a Bubba Gump shrimp? Oh yeah, Forrest stops by every now and then just to make sure that we're making everything perfect. Well, thanks, Mike, for inviting us to Bubba Gump shrimp. You're welcome. Come back anytime and bring all your friends. <laughs> I got a Oreo sprinkled cupcake. I got, um, I don't, I, I think it's a whipped tuxedo. Thank you. Thank you. And we also got hot chocolate. I got some on my shirt, <laughs> so you just gotta be careful. Ow. This one's really good. This is creamy. This is really good. <laughs> From one to ten, I'd give it a nine. I would give it a ten. It is really good. Hey guys, we're here with Joel. And Joel, what is 7D Theater? Oh well, 7D Theater is two different things in one. One, we have a laser maze challenge, which is an optical course of crisscrossing lasers. Then again, we also have an XD ride, which is a virtual roller coaster ride simulator and shooting game in one. You get to sit in one of our chairs and moving and grooving through the rhythm of a game, while you get to shoot at targets like zombies, monsters, or robots in 3D. Thank you, Joel, for telling us about the 70 Theater. So come on, guys, let's go check it out. to learn more about the sea lions. Yes. So, yes. how old do sea lions get? How old do sea lions get? It varies. So males, they get about 18 to 20 years old. Females live a little longer, about 20 to 22 years old. Do you have more males or females in the K-Doc? Ooh, good question. So here at K-Doc on Pier 39 in San Francisco, Generally, we have mostly males, and that's because most of the females, they are down south in California with their pups, especially right around now. Um, down south is where they mate, so the males will travel to the females around April to July, 
And then they'll, once they're done mating with the females, they're gonna head back up north and get some food. So K Dock is kind of a pit stop for the sea lions. Are sea lions aggressive? Aggressive, they are not really aggressive. When we see them out at K Dock, sometimes they're playing but it looks like they're fighting. So what they'll do is they'll jump up on the dock and they'll like bump each other, and push and shove each other off the other side. So all that is is they're playing and what they're trying to do is they're getting ready for the breeding season. So what happens, the males will go down to the beaches in Southern California and they'll set up a, a spot on the beach that's their territory where the females can come into, right? So here, there's no females to be fighting over, so they're just playing and kind of practicing getting ready for the mating season as the year comes around. And right here, I have a pelt of a sea lion. You guys are more than welcome to touch. Tell me what you notice. So I notice that if I go this direction, mm -hmm. well, like the furs are going, it's smoother. But then if I go the other direction, it's a lot uh, scratchier. A sea lion lives most of its life in Water. Water. So in order to swim, it's probably more effective if all your hair is facing one direction. So on this pelt, you can actually tell where the head was based on where the fur is, is placed. So if the fur is smooth, that's probably the direction that the sea lion wants to go in, right? Yeah. So the head would have been here. Why should we care about the sea lions? That's a great question. So the sea lions are a really important part of the food web. So just like a spider web that has all those little uh, bits and pieces of string, right? If you were to pull a part of that spider web, it'll collapse, right? So same thing with sea lions. They're part of that food web. If we took them out, that part of the food web would collapse. Here in the Bay Area, they have a really important role to play. They're known as top predators. Do you guys know what that is? Have you heard that before? Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So that means, though, they don't eat everything in the ocean. They only eat certain types of fish. So because of that, they really maintain and the food web to be balanced. That's really important. So obviously out in the water, they face a lot of threats, one of which is natural, right? Do you guys remember the predators of a sea lion? Yeah, absolutely, that's a good one. Killer whale, what's the other one? It's a big fish. Oh, a shark. There you go, a great white shark, in fact. And those are really important as well. Those are the ones that kind of top these sea lions out in the ocean, right? They hunt sea lions in the ocean. So um, we want to make sure they stay out in the oceans and doing their thing. And, and, and one of the threats that all of these animals they face, they face a lot of garbage. A lot of things that are looped, you know, packing straps, things like that. And of course, a lot of us, we don't mean for our, our trash to get out into the ocean, but it does end up out there. For example, right now, San Francisco, we've got a lot of storms happening, right? We have a lot of El Nino storms, a lot of wind, a lot of rain. Well, any of that trash that blows off of our trash cans, it ends up in the street, and the water just takes it right into... The ocean. The ocean, San Francisco Bay, right here. And that's where it encounters a lot of these animals. So in order to make help protect these animals, the ones that are in the ocean, as well as here in the bay, there's a lot that we can do. <laughs> Our Choose the Right Public Service announcement is protecting the environment by using less single-use plastics. That's our Choose the Right Public Service announcement. It's short, but it's really important. And don't forget to choose, choose the right. right! Thank you guys for joining us as we celebrate the 26th anniversary of the Sea Lions! Right here at Pier 39 in San Francisco! And be sure to watch our other episode right here on YouTube. It's gonna be in an aquarium. And don't forget, my name's John David. My name's Nicole. And we're the Uber Kids. Until next time, choose the right. Hey guys, we're here at Bubba Gumba Trip. <laughs> and here at Pier 39. <laughs> with us, right here, with us. <laughs> with us. With us. To other, other.